we have verbs as answer choices, right? So um, when we have verb agreement, right, we need to know what the subject of the sentence is, right? Because the verb agrees with the subject, right? So <clears throat> most people are going to want to make the verb agree with the noun that directly, the, the, the word that directly precedes it, right? Um, but um, the trickier verb agreement questions on um, these tests are going to separate your subject from your verb, right? So like a subject, and then later on your verb, right? So... Um, the subject of the sentence is amounts, right? So you'd say it's amounts, and then you just have this big preposition, you have these prepositional phrases, of pollutants entering the atmosphere on a daily basis, right? So those are prepositional phrases that you can cross off, right? So the increasing amounts, so you'd say they, right? Would, so, the, right, this is plural, right? So would you say they has created? Nope. They creates? No, they have created. Yep, that sounds good. And D, they is creating. No. So we'd have answer choice C, right? Because A, B, and D are all, right, plural, right? And, um, or sorry, th those are singular. Uh, um, and then C is plural, right? So we have to make it agree with amount. So don't just really quickly try to make the verb agree with the word that occurs directly in front of it because it's not always the subject. And oftentimes when you have these splits, right, where it's like, a, B, and D are all singular, and then this one's plural. It's probably going to be the plural one anyway. Um, but again, just make sure you know the subject. So answer choice C.